Alrighty, it is time for some Mario Kart 8 races today here on the Weekend Gamers. And of course, along for the ride with me today are Daniel, Dominic, Edmund, and, uh, wait, let me start again. I've got Daniel, Edmund, Nick, and Dominic. Hello, guys. Hello. Hi, everybody. Yeah, for a second I couldn't remember who I'd introduced and who I had. Nice going, Mark! <laughs> I'm offended you almost crying, says how dare you, Mark. It's only year two of doing this. You should be used to it by now. You would think, but sometimes my brain forgets things. It's fine, Mark. People do make mistakes like that sometimes. Yeah. Yeah, we all do. Yeah. yeah. Now, now, even though uh, the game is Mario Kart, I am actually not going to be playing as Mario today. Speaking of Serenity, I almost forgot to select this cage. Mark, you joining the DJ Club? Not quite. Ed, now, Ed Man, of course, is P-Checked. It's going to be P-Checked. But as for me, I am regular Peach. Oh, that's quite interesting. Uh, somebody is uh, using Peach while somebody else is using Peach. Uh, there are two different forms of Peach. Or they're in the same group. Yeah. Now, of course, I am racing as Peach uh, for this round specifically because of the fact that Princess Peach Showtime is going to be releasing soon. Yeah, we're just under three weeks away from that coming out. Before we went on in the air, Dominic was uh, telling us about uh, his uh, playthrough of Kirby and the Forgotten Land, uh, which I believe he just got recently for the Switch. Nice. I like the format that has the format of the 
So I guess you could I guess you could say Yeah. So I guess you could say this So I guess you could say this would be maybe an early yeah, like, like, for me, April Fool's Day, I pretty much just treat as a regular day on the calendar. Yeah, I don't really go around, like, playing tricks on people. I am like, I mean, that probably would have been a bigger deal when I was a lot younger, but it doesn't really, it's not real, but now it's just like a regular day on the calendar, as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, I, I, I kind of I see it the same way. And asked for the uh, new card I got from the last one, I got a Lamborghini Revolta. Well, very nice there, Daniel. Yes, I got it right this time! There you go. Now, now, Marty gets a cookie. Right? Ah, nom, 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 Why is it terrible? 
Got the control wall. It's not. It's not very fun. It's just not. It's just not very good to recommend to some of the other crews. Based on what I've seen. I've been interested in getting that for a while, and uh, from what I've seen in terms of the trailer for that game, um, it reminds me of the Fast and Furious arcade game that they had a while ago. Oh, and uh, there was also something else that uh, happened this weekend uh, that uh, was not particularly fun to deal with for one uh, specific YouTube channel. So, this channel I'm talking about has been around for since 2009, so this would be their 15th year, and they usually provide a lot of, like, in-depth analysis on, like, games as well as, like, some of the ones that are uh, upcoming. A good example would be the uh, recent Pokemon Legends Z announcement. The channel that I'm referring to is Game Explain. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Yeah, so their YouTube channel got hacked, uh, their Twitter got hacked. Thankfully, their Twitch did not get hacked. Either way, though, uh, that's still not really good for half of that. No, it isn't. In fact, they ended up having to spend 18 hours trying to get all their uh, things back in order, but they got everything back. At least that is good for you, either way. It must have been for me. Yeah, cause uh, cause they lost like pretty much the entire day of productivity yesterday having to deal with that. That is really wrong. Yeah. How long you guys uh, know this, but uh, since we were talking about uh, last earlier, they actually have an HR pay as well. Yeah, I think, cause I think, uh, for what I remember, I think they poured, I think for what I remember, I think it was in the arcade first, and then they brought it over to the Nintendo Switch. Basically similar to what they did with, uh, Cruise in USA on the, uh, N64. I was wondering about saying that, I also, uh, did remember that from what I Yeah, that is a shame what happened. Ah, uh, dang it! Uh, like when you show up, you're going to choose to have a bonus race. I'm on my way to trade off. You got the choke hole for the dog that cried again. Uh, they just got me to the computer ball. Yeah, I pretty much led that entire race. Yeah, well, honestly. Well, well, at least, at least you're going to, at least you're going to beat Daniel where we're mainly just getting mushrooms from the race and nothing else. Oh, yeah, I can't, I can't let that happen. Well, we can play it yeah. after that or the room, after that or, 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 or the room is set to custom items where we can get an item instead, but still. Yeah. Either way, that was a good show for each other. Yeah. Uh, it was just still not very cool what happened there. Yeah. Uh, by the way, one thing I forgot to point out is since we have started taping it at, uh, a little bit later than normal tonight, uh, we are only going to be doing two sets for this episode. This uh, first set, which we have in progress right now, is normal items, as uh, you guys have been seeing. But the next set that we're going to do, that's where the items are going to get crazy.
Yeah, because I was actually watching Thursday night's game, mainly because that one had uh, a lady on there from uh, from Whitby, Ontario. Oh yeah, Javeria Sahir. Yeah, and from what I saw, she had the lead going into Final Jeopardy, but unfortunately came up with an incorrect answer and lost. Yeah, and uh, and keep in mind, uh, there are no more wild card uh, entries for the semi-final in these tournaments either, which means if you lose, you're out. Which is honestly the way it should be, if I can, uh, in my opinion. Yeah, I mean... I yeah, think I, I do think the new format is definitely, definitely pretty cool. Yeah, because... Uh, I'm kind of nostalgic by it, so, you know, I think I'll still have some, yeah. you know, uh, nostalgic for the old way they did it, but yeah. the new way is still pretty yeah, cool. Yeah, because the way they used to do it, and this was the way they did it the entire time that uh, Alex was hosting, how it would be five quarterfinal games, whoever won those obviously made it to the finals, then the next four who... Uh, who had the high scores that didn't win their games would uh, take the remaining spot. But uh, that, but they don't do that anymore. After uh, Trebek's passing, they changed up the format a little bit, which means the quarterfinals is now nine, which means every game in the TOC is now sudden death. You win, you move on. If you lose, see ya. Yeah, yeah, but, uh, yeah. Uh, well, except, for, except for the first championship, which is now extended. I think they still have the first tournament for that one. Yeah, I think the first. Uh, this one's the last one. Yeah, I think you're right. I think the, uh, the first uh, tournament post uh, Alex Trebek, they still had the original format, and then they changed it after that. Yeah, but that also means you have to take the games a lot more seriously. Yeah, for sure. You still got to try to think carefully on the games, and so you don't know what happens, so, uh... Yeah. Yeah, well, it also changes the way you think of the game, too, because instead of thinking, okay, well, I'm going to put the little score here to make sure it's still going to be blocked, you're still thinking, okay, what match I'm going to do with the game. And what I think, though, on the video this year, uh, was that... She was very dominant on the games that she played in second chance and champion wild card. It's a shame that she got eliminated in the tournament champion card. Yeah, the tournament champion is a lot harder than you know with the champion. You know, if you look at the player, you know, the champion, you're not going to get a more normal point. You're going to get a much harder, much harder points. Yeah, well, I, I have to say, though, even though she didn't come out the winner in her game, I still think she did very well overall.
I mean, keep in mind, I mean, keep in mind, I mean, keep in mind, my switch to Peach for this episode is uh, just temporary. Yeah. But yeah, I figured this was going to be a good track to uh, choose for the last race of this set because, you know, it's really it's, it's always going to be the course to uh, pull us out on no matter what, I think. Yeah, you always can't go wrong with the train for the world, no matter how quick the world will play. They always does make sense for it to be a good part of the track. Well, 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 I thought Daylight Savings was this weekend, but it's actually next weekend. Also, it's pretty uh, close. So yeah. With the speed of that, uh, once that uh, happens, you guys have to adjust your clock. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I definitely did well. I think we have one more Sunday, so. Identity works, 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 works